Hey guys, my name is Mark, and in this video, I'm going to do a friendly little comparison of the Super Takamar 8 Element 50mm f1.4 to its hotter, younger sibling, the Super Multicoated Takamar 7 Element f1.4, in an attempt to see what all the fuss is about. The Super Takamar 50mm f1.4 8 element prime is a lens that was developed to make an impact. Not initially designed to compete against itself, it was, or so I've read, developed to go up against the Carl Zeiss 50mm f1.4 planar design, which at the time was the lens to beat. In that effort, the Super Takamar 8 element lens did in fact claim top prize, but at a very high cost. So high in fact, that apparently every lens sold, the company lost money on. Great marketing, bad business. To remedy this, the production of the 8 element design was modified to a more sustainable 7 element design. Now what I'm curious to find out is exactly how these two lenses fare against one another in a friendly, unscientific tack versus tack lens off. But more importantly, I'd be curious to know what you guys think. Is the 8 element better than the 7? Before I get into some of the image comparisons, there are a few physical differences that can help identify an 8 element over a 7. Looking at the infrared focus mark, you'll notice the mark is to the right of the 4. Compare that to the 7 element, the infrared focus mark is on the left of the 4. Now the 8 element also has a partially protruding rear element when focused to infinity. The 7 element, as you can see, does not. The last major difference can be seen on the stop down switch. The 8 element is marked A and M, versus the 7 element, which spell out the full words auto and manual. Now, about those sample photos. Unfortunately, given the situation around the world right now, I'm going to limit these sample shots to around the house. A good exercise in creativity for me, but it also works because of the controlled setting. Now for science, all images will be taken with the same camera, the Lumix S1H, and there will be no post-processing done to the images. When observing these photos, it's important to be aware of a few physical differences between the lenses that may have an impact on the images themselves. The biggest difference you'll see straight out of the camera is a slight variation in color between the two lenses. This is a direct result of the thoriated glass used in the 7-element super multi-coated Takamar 50mm lens. Thoriated glass is radioactive due to its inclusion of thorium dioxide. Thorium was used because of its high refractivity and low dispersion, which naturally reduces the amount of chromatic aberrations in photos. One side effect thorium has over time is the thoriated glass elements in lenses develop a brown tint, reducing the transmission of light and interfering with the natural color rendition. Color shifting is reversible, however. Long exposure to UV or black light should do the trick. But to be honest, I kind of like it. It's part of the charm and character of this lens. It's also not that hard to fix. Just kick a little bit of blue into the image. Now by contrast, the 8 element design didn't use any thoriated glass, so the natural colors over time remain true. Both have a minimum focusing distance of 0.45 meters and produce a nice background separation wide open. The aperture design on the 8 element uses six blades, so when stopping down, you see that pattern form. The 7 element uses eight blades, so the bokeh is a little more circular when stopping down.
In terms of the lens sharpness overall, I feel it's a lot like splitting hairs. The 8 element was made before the Super Multi Coating was developed, so I'm really curious to see if that has an impact on the actual images. Actually, the more photos I look at, the harder it is to really spot the differences outside of the natural color rendition. There is a pretty big price difference between the 8 element design and the 7. The 8 being older, non-radioactive, a more expensive optical design, and just the history behind it are all contributing factors to the online price compared to the 7. For me, the super multi-coated 50mm f1.4 was my very first Takamar lens. It's the lens that made me fall in love with the brand and that built my collection up ever since. I guess it was only natural for me to come full circle and pick up the collector's edition 8 element design. This may be my very last Takamar purchase. It really does feel like I have a complete set now. And I mean it. No more Takamars. All right, guys, well, that's it for this video. I do apologize for not venturing outside and getting some super inspired photos, but it was fun kind of putzing around the house and seeing what I can take photos of and just comparing the two lenses. Can't wait to use more of this 8 element 50. I just know it and the Zeiss Planner are dying to go head to head. Thanks as always for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.